Hello everybody, this is Fortune Gentleman, 20 more here, bring some more, The Witch and the Hundred Knight. How is everybody doing today? Fantastic! How are you? Fantastic! Me? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good! Welcome back to more of this lovely little game. We can enjoy more of the free time. Well, not really free time, more of the whole game mechanic of the game. We beat the giant... Caterpillar and we beat up a flower and made it bloom. Oh, yeah! Uh, that was, uh, interesting. <laughs> beat a flower, make it bloom, then beat the crap out of a caterpillar. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a fun day to spend your Thursday, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it'll probably be Friday when this goes up, and it's Thursday for me today, but Friday for you guys tomorrow, so, yeah! <laughs> okay! So, we're level 5. We're gonna go back in, because I know there's a special event! Well, not really an event, more like a... A living room event, and there's, you know, there's like an exclamation mark near some, near some words. It's important, really important. So let's see what Met Natalia has to say. Took me a second to remember. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's wrong this time. Uh... She's ran into the rank of Walpress, which... Hmm. To the witch, to that legendary witch. Yeah. Might be a little bit hard due to the fact that, um... She's restricted. Unless they're swamp. <laughs> I mean, you would think maybe like, uh, well, we got the hint that Swamp is poisonous, so like, why not just, you know, grab a bucket. Grab a bucket and just like, splash them on the ground and, you know, leave a trail for her walk on or something. That would have been maybe a little bit easier. Oh, so we got this! Alright! I mean, yeah, I think about it, like, that would be a little bit easier to deal with. Instead of having to deal with the fact that she can't do anything. Except be useless. And stay at home. And provide us magic. And give us powers. And give us crap. Yeah. Tip number four about guarding bosses HP bar. Yeah, we already know when a gu when your boss's guard is going down, that's an opportunity to start smacking at it. Smack it with a bat. Smack it with a hammer. Smack it with a staff or even a giant clasper. No idea how that was supposed to rhyme. I don't know. <laughs> so, is everybody enjoying the new type of games that are coming out. I remember like that one new game, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid 5? I think that's the number for it. Even though it's not real, the real one. It's like a... Um, what would you want to call it? Like a proto call? No, I do not want to turn back to the main men world map. It's like a an introduction for it. Like 30 bucks for some, but you could have just done like a whole... Um, Downloadable content to see what you're gonna have, what's gonna take place in the next Metal Gear Solid. I mean, you can play a Snake, spoilers, you can play as Biden, and. Uh, not really able to know. Hello, buddy boy, you're an M. You look. You look gorgeous!
Everyone else see that thing just rolled on by? And the sucker just fucking bitch slapped me. Those are NPCs and they're also colored. Because of that, they will always try to attack the Hundred Knight. Fuck. Or they do give more XP than the typical enemy, so maybe you gotta need to fight them too. Well, we need to attack by more monsters. Alright, you know, are still walking around. What the fuck is that thing? Looks like a freaking chicken on a unicycle. What the fuck is that? Look, it is a chicken on a unicycle. <laughs> yeah, maybe it could be even worse. Maybe it could be worse. Chicken. How's that for logic? Ooh. A good logic. I seriously cannot get over the fact <laughs> What if it's a unicycle in a chicken costume? <laughs> I really cannot get over that, because that would be something wrong to see. Just going like, instead of being like, Oh look, it's a chicken that can ride a unicycle. That's fucking amazing. No, it's a unicycle dressed up as a chicken that's pretending to ride the unicycle when it's not really doing it at all. Now that's amazing. And we released another flower. Oh boy, let's see. Mmm. We gotta set it a spawn. Always gonna set a spawn in case we die. Oh, what now? Okay, so we gotta, well, we're gonna raise some hell. Raise some hell! But first things first, explore the map. It is always good to explore the map so that way you know what the heck is going on. Just a bitch. Like, like, if we actually view the map, it'll give like a percentage of how much we've already seen. I believe the first, I think, yeah, I believe it's, we can get a hundred, yeah, hundred percent, we view, like, we view a map that has a hundred percent, all look through, like, we went through every corner, yeah, right there, see, so we have twenty-one percent. And a like, fucking poison trap! <laughs> one damage, 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 one fucking damage. <laughs> Every second, every time I take one damage, I gain one, I heal one damage, but that one heal damage comes a damage I take again. Make up your mind, game! Uh, uh, oh, pumpkin. My pumpkin, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make some good old jack o' lanterns and slice these motherfuckers up into bits and pieces, but you know what? It's time to put some points in! Let's get some of this. So that way we can gain some glaggle back. There's one way in case you won't be able to stay out longer. It's an attack, HP, attack, defense, from 60 to 70. Alright, so we'll last a lot longer outside in the wild without our mistress. Welcome, Tiana! Okay, that's an innocent boy. How are you doing, boy? You're doing good? Alright, you're looking good. Alright. That's a level 6. We're not good enough for that place yet. Okay, what do you guys say, Mr. Real Joe is the only one who can meet the forest witch. Isn't that unfair? Yes, it's unfair. I heard she's beautiful. I would love to meet her once. Keep dreaming! Many village foreigners in your Okay, which contract? There are many bees around here, and it's a peaceful place to live. It's not for long. Seven and the thieves turned just to gamble is stupid to me. Hmm. Oh, a 
customer. Do you have business with our elder? A masked being? Please listen to my story. Just between you and me, stranger, our elder lost an important key in the bed to sleep since. The key is supposed to be a very special item needed to unlock a mystic gate to open the pass to Lady Malia. But because of how he lost it, he's too scared to talk about it with Lady Malia. He was so troubled and stressed out that he collapsed. What a shameful thing for a village elder to do. Whoops, I shouldn't be talking about this to a stranger. Please forget what I told you, or I might lose my job and his mind as his maid. So, he lost the key to a bunch of thieves. And this key has the power to get to that whore. Well, I know what we're looking for now. Oh, okay. Here. My great brother was friends with Lady Mal when they were kids. She's always had a cute, kind look to her face, okay? My great grandmother, she passed away a long time ago. Hmm. Alright. But we know what we're looking for. We're looking for a key. This key will allow us to gain access to that fucking whore. Lady Molly lives in the forest. She's a forge with son. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a witch. Keep dreaming, young one. Soon you'll be able to achieve that in the future. The village is protected by a forest witch, Malia. Not for long. Okay, so we've been here, we've been here, we haven't been down here yet, so what we got? Hey, big dude! Some people in the village go and play at the thieves casino near here. Sorry, but I'd rather not be associated with people like that. Oh, why not? Be more fun. Cute. The Amal is a great woman with a true mis mis merciful heart. Hi. Merciful, huh? Hi. So she's calm. Timid. Okay. She's not a bitch. She's not a whore. She's not a scam. She's not a fucking bitch. I'm dead. She's a gentle woman. She's caring. She's a mother figure. Wait, did that come out right? Either it came out with mother figure, or it sounded like I said motherfucker. Mother figure. Just how we first met her, she looked all kind. If you remember, it was that person that was wearing that cloak when we beat the centipiller. <sighs> that was her in disguise. She was pretending to be a man. Or that um, oh, what was that movie? Um, I think it was Snow White. It was a movie when um, the witch did that stupid transformation. Yeah, sorry about that. It was getting up. <laughs> okay, so we know that the gate to her place is right through here. But we need the key. Where could the key be? Where could it be? Probably those thieves have it. But where are those thieves? They're going to be around here somewhere. They have to be with such. Hey, you there. With the cool helmet, want to play for a bit? Hey, how about one game? Don't be old fashioned. I think it's a gamble. It's a test of luck. No, it's gambling. Hey, dude. Yeah, boy, I won. You won what? My motto is stay compensated. We can pawn stuff here if we need be. Mm-hmm. Those places are bad. The chance helmet heads, they won't come twice, you know? How about you, buddy? Oh, no, I'm so unlucky today. Sorry to hear that. Sword, I won't I should be fine. Yeah, yeah! Oh, I lost the money my mother scrapped together for 30 years gone in 10 minutes. 
Well, that's what you get. Oh my god, giant fucking laser thing. Mm. Drop down, drop down, drop down. Ooh, pumpkins, pumpkins. So many pumpkins. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Pumpkin. There's a bunch of monsters, kill the monsters, kill the monsters. Oh my god, there's a pumpkin right there, guys. Slash you, slash and slash and slash and slash. Ooh, that felt good. Slash some things down to ribbons, making sure they don't come back to life. Mmm. But you know what? It's time to dominate. It's time for the witch domination! Which domination to win? Yes, we do. We got the sleep key. What is the sleep key to? Which domination? That's what it's for, dude. Mm. So you smell the horse scent. You're like a dog. You're a bloodhound. Ooh, 48%. I think that's the right way to put it. Like, I know do all dogs can sniff stuff out, but isn't it like a bloodhound the more strongest of all of them? They can smell a fox, or they can smell anything from a good mile away. That's why police usually have bloodhounds when they're tracking someone on foot. Instead of being smart asses and just taking a car to do it, I'd be like, if you're, oh my god, more of you guys are gonna hack and slash you all once, go like that. You're gonna hack and slash you all once, but I'm able to do the other damage. Punch and a cut and a slice and a woo! Okay, what do we got in here? We get the. Uh, a stomach stone! It's not like right, it's wrong, but we can now, as a Christmas, right? Anything. All right, that means we can actually hold more stuff in our stomachs. Gee, isn't that great? All the stuff that we have ever got: swords, weapons, items, we gun has been placed in a certain spot on the hundred night. What does he do? He keeps it in his stomach. Oh, happy days. It's stuck inside a fucking monster's stomach. Yeah, all he has to do is regurgitate it. Mm. So that's why I want to think, like, some RPGs out there have some very odd healing items. So, like, you give them a cake that heals two thousand, that heals 200 HP. Let's say that. Let's say that he swallows the whole thing whole, and when he needs HP, he fucking spits the whole thing out, grabs a slice, and just munches on it. When he's done with the one slice, he'll just swallow the whole thing whole again, and you just see like half of it's gone. But he can like all his HP back, and like his stomach's like a freezer or like a storage compartment. That's basically what it is. So, we know how to hold stuff in, we know how to hold stuff in our stomach, so, yeah! Uh, you know, playing this game does remind me of a very odd anime. It is gonna be very odd, okay? Don't question why it's odd, but y'all remember that one TV show on Four Kids when it was Four Kids was actually good? Well, okay, Four Kids was good, but during some time it kind of changed from being good to boo and crap. Y'all remember that one show called Magical Doraemi? Oh, another message. Use the key, open sesame. Wow, wow. <laughs> he 
Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna keep our, we're gonna keep working our ass to the bone, just to save you fifty percent. All right. And over there is the exclamation mark. That means we gotta go over there. Meaning we're only fifty more percent done. Oh, well, this new area actually is pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty cool. Oh God, no. Oh. I remember, I heard about these things. Ooh, they suck, that's why. <sighs> Number one thing in any RPG game that's more annoying than poison or... I guess, second best to maybe burning or freezing? Is electricity. <sighs> but instead of being like paralyzed, okay, you typically are paralyzed when you get hit by this thing like... Hello, you're a golem. You're very big, aren't you? So I'm gonna need to smack you, cause you look smackable, so I'm gonna smack you with a... Okay, I'm gonna have to smack you with a... I'm gonna smack you, and then slice, and smack you, and just keep hitting you till you drop dead onto the ground. Come on, hit the ground, hit the ground, hit the ground. Boom, there it is. Okay, you need to switch, you need to switch, switch. Oh, wait. Uh, green, 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 green. Uh, oh. Does it work? Can I use it? You drop song. Yes, I could use you. Yes, I can. I could use you. But yeah, like you know that old show, like Magical Dora. Little girls have the power to transform into magical superheroes and a bunch of other crappy sunshine and crap. <laughs> I don't know why this game reminded me of it. It just pops in my mind when I was playing. When you think about like. Magical Doremi. Um, think about it from this point of view. Like, it has to do with magic, and the game is awesome with the whole music and pterg and pig. Oh my God! Look at that Galactical Bruce back up six sixty nine. <laughs> Okay, we have to very bad to make fun of that thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh yes, yeah, right. No. The consume. Basically, what you can get from the whole consume thing it allows us to be able to consume the enemy and the aim our Galactica. 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 That's how you say it. Oh, let's just get it back, so it's kind of like a free... It's like a free meal. <laughs> Instead of having to pay points a bit, bunch of it back, you're able to actually eat away at the enemy and consume them and terrify them and devour them the whole... And all that crap! <laughs> now that's a spicy meatball. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I need to lay off a fucking tea. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a jellyfish and another golem. Well, we got two jellyfishes on a golem. Okay, so... Ooh, shockwave and snag electricity. Not a good combo. I do not like that. Oh, I'm gonna keep punching you till you lose HP. You should be taking damage. I'm gonna switch some weapons around. Let's see here. Let's. Hmm. Hey, okay, we do need to notice one thing. He does not take that much damage from some weapons, so I'm gonna. Tr Why don't we try with the hammer? I do see he does take a big, gigantic amount of damage with the hammer, so we're gonna switch to the shibby, shabby hammer. Let's switch this around with the loose sword. Hmm. Excuse me, damn. <laughs> Sorry for that one. We're gonna go with the Shelby Hammer again. Now let's try and go like, come on, come on. Smack the. You should have dropped dead. What the fuck? Actually, me. Look at it real closely. It looks like a freaking redead. Doesn't that look like a freaking redead? <laughs> Good job. And that's the thing that sucks about. Jellyfish, it's all fucking stun you. You get locked onto the ground. Oh god, no, let me go. Let me. Mm. And lock it down again. 
Oh, don't you dare do it a third time. No, move, move, move. Oh, you tried to do it three times in a row. Well, smack you with lies and smack you with yen and cut and slice and dice and mix it all up into one. You want some too? Huh? Huh? I did do your brother's sister and I'm gonna smack you once again, then smack him, then I'm gonna run, then I'm gonna smack, then I'm gonna smack, then I'm gonna slice and cut and cut and cut and smack. Ah, oh, what a good day. Kill some enemies. Gotta make some stuff. Got a giant glowing green orb above my hand. I'm gonna place it on this pad. Go like, Boop. Apparently the door opens. Alright, the door opens. Alright, okay, let's see what's over here first though. Uh, ooh, another one of you guys. I'm gonna smack you and smack you and cut and slice and smack. I love doing a spin ability. <laughs> And actually, that does remind me of one thing. Is all, do you all you remember that old TV show known as the Wild Thornberries? <laughs> that very on... Oh, what would you want to call it? Very on TV show. <laughs> and like, okay, like, you know the whole gimmick of it. Like, a girl has the ability to talk to every single animal, but she has to keep it a secret or she'll lose the ability to. Which I forget. I remember there was a movie where they found she found people found out she can talk to animals and she lost it, but then she gained it back. I forget how she did it. I'm not really sure. But it was like something like she had to do something or eh, save the rainforest. I don't know. Save some crap. Eh, it doesn't really matter. It's the same thing over and over again. It's paid all over again. But like, y'all remember her father just going nah, splashing. <laughs> Like, you see him with that stupid, <clears throat> stupid grin, like, that stupid noise he makes, like, that, that noise, the whole, Nyah. that's all I get from looking at these jellyfish after I kill them. Like, watch, we'll kill this one, just go like, slice, hack, slash, spin around, and all I get was, like, Nyah. I win again. <sighs> I got so much training, so much time, so much spinning. No one's doing electrical damage even though I'm nowhere near it. What the fuck is wrong with you, jellyfish? I'm um, damn, my stomach's full. Damn. Smack, smack, sugar, smack. Give me a smack and I'll smack it right ass back. <laughs> <laughs>